Next time we get a significant amount of snow, you may want to try to experience it through snowshoeing. Newswatch 16's Chelsea Strube checks it out. After a big snowfall, the scene at Lake Francis in Nescapec State Park becomes serene and can only be explored by making this noise, crunching along the trails of the park in Denison Township in snowshoes. We don't have any um, trail grooming equipment here at the park, so if you want to get out into some of the areas of the park during that time of the year, the best way is on snowshoes when there's a lot of snow on the ground. Because otherwise, you sink into the snow. The science behind snowshoeing is based off of an animal that bears the same name that could also be found here in the park. Yeah, this is a snowshoe hare. He's got naturally long feet in order to stay on the loft of um, the snow so he can reach up to those branches that he's trying to eat. Imitating the physics behind the hare's feet goes back centuries, but now has a more modern look. That are mostly made of aluminum. Um, they've got the uh, crampons on the bottom. Nescapec State Park is dusting off its collection of snowshoes for people to rent for free as they explore the park in the snow. Um, I have wanted to do some snowshoeing to try it out um, for the last couple of years, but there hasn't been enough snow. So when I saw they were going to try to do it today, I thought oh, that's perfect timing. There needs to be at least six inches of snow on the ground for the sport and getting the shoes on takes some finesse. All right, so there is actually a left and a right one, even though you might not think so. Um, there is a little L for left. The ratchets should face outward. Basically, what you want to do is put your foot onto the crampon, not too, too far up and not too, too far back. Just ratchet down till it tightens. That's great. And then the back, you just tighten up as best you can here. And you're all set. Poles are optional to be used for extra balance, and the steps take some time getting used to. Many snowshoe to keep up with an exercise routine outdoors when it snows. Some come to take photos to get outdoor photography shots they might not get without the winter landscape. Others come to try something new and see if it's something they want to add to their list of hobbies. I'll tell you what guys, I used a lot of muscles here I'm not used to using. Definitely a workout and an awesome way to experience nature and state parks when there's a lot of snow on the ground. Chelsea Stroop, Newswatch 16, Luzerne County.